Like that's what my chin has been switching to a lot. See? Print at this freaking okay, helmet. This one is like good, but I painted, repainted this one. Yeah. Um, I taught him how to do that one. Uh, I taught him how to do that one. Yeah, so all my tutorials are on there. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's where it is. He's the one that told me. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I mean, it, it's it's interesting. I mean, you got a lot more. There's more versatility with what you can do, like foam and stunts and things like that. Yeah, I get what you mean. Here's the problem, though. The end user, and you probably agree, end user doesn't know the difference between speed. some kid goes, "Oh, wow!" This one's red. I don't care shit. That was good one. <laughs> Fifty bucks. Mine's a hundred. Well, Fifty bucks. See, I know. I I, I a little bit. I was teaching him about pricing. Though. Exactly. He was telling me about pricing. That's it. Uh, there's even if you even if you convince this gentleman, there's 788 sellers on Etsy. That's still 22 bucks. It's 22 bucks. I can sell that for a month. That's because they're idiots. That's because they're idiots. But that's every market. So before I got into 3D printing, I was doing woodworking. Woodworking. Everyone and their mother would throw two by fours together and throw farmhouse coffee tables and undercut the market like crazy. Whatever you're doing, people are going to undercut. So it's like you just got to keep your quality high. Keep your quality high and charge the price you want, and you're going to find the market. Yeah. That's what I tell him because he does molding. You do molding, right? And all that. Yeah. So he's the one. He, show him what you want to do. <laughs> but I tell him it's just parts and. Yeah, I have a uh, Iron Man and a uh, 3D printed B1 from the Battle Droid from Episode One. Uh, those are How long did it take you to do that one? Though? On the bamboo, like a week and a half. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. I had that. What's the black droid from the old one? Oh, oh so K2SO. I had that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm 3D printing one of those like right now. See, I'm old, in my shop right now. I have. Let's see them at 3D printing. I have C3PO yes. molds, on and carbonite molds. Helmets, yeah. And no one cares about it. I have a home, I have a Stormtrooper helmet. The lineage is from, it's not an exaggeration or a bullshit story, from, there's one, Second Stun. It's called the Second Stun helmet. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you get a 3D printer one for. But with you doing molds, another advantage to is, right? So when I was, I got into 3D printing and what kicked my channel off was Power Rangers. And everyone in their mother oh. wants a green ring. You will get so burnt out if you 3D printed and finished Green Rangers over and over because I've had to sand every time. If you mold it... Today, they've been asking me. You cut that price down and, and your profitability goes through the roof. So you still have the advantage over us. No, there's still people that go, nope. That's what Galactic Armory does, right? I've seen the dude that's 15 that's in that's because he's somebody that's people are finding bad quality. So like Most that's, people are. They don't know the difference. Yep. This is true. This is yeah. true. Yeah. But you can't educate them. Because the price educates me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was telling me. He's like, dude, he cut, he toned it down. Like, dude, this is what you do. This is what you're doing. The hardest part for me, pricing wise, though, was being makers ourselves. It's hard to know the value of it because, like, I would never pay that for it because I can make it. You know, so it's like yeah. understanding value is also super hard because it's like I would buy instead of buying a four hundred and fifty dollar Power Ranger helmet. I would buy a 3D printer for $300 in plastic and make my own, and then I have a 3D printer. You know? Yeah. But you know, you can't look at it that lens. Some people don't want to do the work, don't want to put that in there. Exactly. So you're selling to that market. It's tough. Yeah. It's weird. It's crazy. Yeah, but today everybody was like, "Do you have a Green Ranger helmet?" No. Do you have a Green Ranger? No. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I was like, I, no. I've done six of those, and I would never do one again besides my own next person. That's it. That's it, right? I'm not, I'm so much that. work, huh? So yeah. Sanding the teeth to get those smooth is a nightmare. Why Mass mold the teeth. Or why do I get my info and then yeah, teach me how you? Know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, I, I'm afraid of inventory. Well, yeah, that's all beautiful. Yeah. You don't, you don't mold make it until they like, don't cast it to you. Yeah. I don't cast it. Yeah. That's, unless there's that's money in the store. I yeah. do not preemptively make almost you anything. Can. I sell on demand. People ask me, well, what's in your Yeah. Shop? That's exactly what I want to do. Just on demand. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, go for it, man. Hey, hey, let me let me check your channel again. Let me check your channel. Follow him, guys. All right. I'll pop them. All right, man. I'll see you guys later.